Hi, Buki. I heard you're looking for the perfect, cozy, non-political books. And I've got you because I don't know what people are talking about, that all books are political. No, they're not. My name is Banjo, and welcome to the Biblioteca, where we will find you your perfect, non-political, cozy book. Of course, come with. Let's go. The library is about to be open because reading is what? Fundamental! <laughs> oh. Sorry, you wouldn't like this one. No, this one is definitely not for you. I'm sorry, you wouldn't like this one. Actually, you wouldn't like any of the books in this section. This is the sci-fi section, but I promise you there is definitely something for you. We're here. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, not here either. <laughs> yeah, this is about people living in real life and facing adversity and such, like, um, no, no, not for you. You wouldn't like that. Ooh, ooh, told you I would find you something. Yeah, see, this is not your section either because you wouldn't like this one. It's about a woman who is in a misogynistic, abusive household and she basically just loses her mind. You wouldn't like that either. Yeah, no, no, mm -mm. But I promise you there is definitely nothing here. Let's just keep going. Nothing. You know what we need? Some cozy romance. Ooh because smut is never political. Hmm. Oh, never mind. I wonder what made that happen. Definitely not politics, but it is politics. So not that one. Maybe, mm, can't do that either. Abby Jimenez would not. <laughs> she won't work, yeah. Not even that one would work, no. They, oh wait. <laughs> can't have that. Black people having money, <laughs> getting wealth. <laughs> can't have that. that that's politics actually but uh, there is a book in here there is a non-political book in here i know it absolutely yeah oh, sorry um there is that one scene in there that is smut and um <laughs> hockey hockey the girlies love hockey hockey is cozy it's people playing with a ball a circular thing and then they fall off. Yeah, that would work. That would work hockey. Yes. Oh, wait. <laughs> the main character goes to a state school? University of California? Yeah, that's a state school. Wonder how that school functions and gets funded. Right. Doesn't work. The perfect book for us. Uh-huh. With some Emily Henry, the queen of cozy romance? Absolutely, yes. I told you, I will find the perfect non-political book just was actually not this one because you know she wasn't taking showers and stuff we're gonna add some some of this wait we actually can't do this one interracial couple politics made that happen we're gonna put that back but emily emily's white emily is porcelain okay and these couples are porcelain <laughs> they would work for us okay told you so apparently we actually can't do any of these books uh these books are apparently political because uh they have intimate scenes in them um and pretty much all the books in here uh in this aisle section have romantic scenes in them and according to project 2025 that's not allowed so uh, if you actually want that you might want to buy it right now because come January, you might not be able to get these anymore. Just saying. I thought I was gonna give up. Absolutely not. I found them just for us, okay? <sighs> Come with me. Uh, no. I think this one would work. Don't you agree? What about this one? This one? This one? It has to work. No, okay. That's, that's fine, You're just gonna. We're gonna find some in mystery, okay? No? Okay. These have to work for you. Okay, it's Frida McFadden. Women having to defend themselves after police officers fail to investigate their claims of abuse? Yeah, that's a bit too political. We're gonna try this again. It's okay. Bookie, listen to me. Um. <clears throat> I'm having some trouble understanding your desires, okay? You want a book, but it's not gonna be political. I got you. 
I know we've been at this for a while, but Buki, do not lose faith in me, okay? I will never steer you wrong. I got the perfect book for you. Let's go. Yay? Yes? No? Okay. How about the manga? No? We're going to the YA section because that's where it's gonna be, okay? We're in the YA section now and it has to be here because YA is just about kids, being kids and reading. That seems cozy, that sounds very interesting. But wait, turns out that um, <laughs> We actually cannot do any of these because they go against a certain part of the whole Project 2025, which is very political. And these are actually giving kids the wrong idea about religion and giving them ideas about, I can't even say that seriously, come on, please. Yeah, so these are all political, so no kids books, no YA, sorry. All of that all of that no i went to the north i went to the south i went to the east and i went to the west and i found the book just for you a book that is cozy perfect no politics nothing political just a book that you can just read and yap about with your friends and here it is i hope you're excited for nothing <laughs> So here is the book. It is called Nothing by You. And honestly, it is so fantastic. Like I have been reading this book and I mean, it's just, wow. <laughs> what is it about you ask? Honestly, I couldn't even tell you. You don't see anything, use your imagination because your imagination is the only state where there is no politics. And I'll see you next time when we talk about books without words. <laughs> it's a fantastic. Co-written by R.F. Kwan, Octavia Butler, Toni Morrison, James Baldwin, and the guy who wrote that one book about the Fahrenheit. And of course, my all-time favorite, George Orwell. Yeah, <laughs> see you soon, bye-bye.